back at one on here today. This is gonna be a Pearl lesson. Um, what Pearl is is a um, programming language. I see a few of you uh, who are happen to be older than most of our viewers want something more complex and advanced than just these simple terminal commands. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make a program with terminal and uh, how to make it do stuff. So this is Pearl Lesson 1. There are going to be a few of these. Um, but for now, I'm going to be demonstrating this to you on my desktop like normal. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to have to go into VI or Nano to make a document. I'm just going to do VI, but you can use Nano. So I'm going to do VI, and I'm going to call my program We. Now, um... The first line of your Perl script, you're going to want to make hash bang slash user slash bin slash Perl. Put that up on the screen. And yes, user has no E in it. Now, a hash is shift 3, and a bang, also known as an exclamation point, is shift 1. Now, uh, we go on to the next line, and we want to type our Perl script. So now we can type. There are a few, there are a few uh, commands for the script. I'll just start you off with something simple that you're going to be bored with, but it's use, it's worth it. Print, and uh, this displays text on the screen. So with print, you do print, space, quote. And now, we want to type something to print out, like, Hello, my name is Dave. And then we're going to do a close quote. And at the end of every um, line, except for the first line, which is hash bang user bin pearl, we want to put a semicolon. Um, so now I'll hit enter. And now I printed out, hello, my name is Dave. And so I'm just going to save this right now. So here's my text document on my desktop called we. Now we want to type a command to basically activate it. chmod space plus x, space, and then the name of your document, in uh, case it's we. So now my document looks like this. On Tiger, it should look like a terminal. And on Tiger, you're not just going to be able to double-click it, but that's okay. So now, we want to, um, I'm just going to edit we again. And now, say I have a print that says, hello, my name is Dave. It's going to print out, um, hello, my name is Dave. Because that's what I wrote. So, on on Tiger, you can just drag we into your terminal, and then click the terminal and hit enter. And then it says, hello, my name is Dave. Right there. Unfortunately, it didn't print a new line, so it goes straight to my prompt. So I need to edit that. So, here's how you do a new line. In the quotations, you do backslash n. Backslash n is new line. So, hello, my name is Dave, exclamation point, backslash n. So, I'm printing a new line after hello, my name is Dave. Now, I'll just drag we in, click, enter. Now, it printed out hello, my name is Dave, and then went to the next line. Now, we happens to be an executable, and it's in my current path. We is right there, so I can just type dot slash we. We'll say hello, my name is Dave. And on Leopard, I can just open it up and it'll say, hello, my name is Dave. So, yeah. So now, I'm going to edit we again. And on the next line, I'm going to um, say, print what is your name, backslash and quote, semicolon. So now it's going to ask me what my name is. Now, unfortunately, I can't type anything back. As you can see, look at this. What is your name? Now I'm typing on my prompt again. I'm not going to type my name as a command because I'll say command not found. So how am I going to take my name as input? I want to type dollar sign. And then let's just call it shizzle for now. Space equals space less than S T D I N 
greater than semicolon. So now, here, here's what dollar sign shizzle is. Whenever you have a dollar sign and then a word, it declares a variable called whatever the word after the dollar sign is. In my case, it's shizzle. I say shizzle, which is now a variable, equals, you know, less than, stood in, greater than. What does stood in stand for? Standard input. So that would be the way of input, which in this case is the terminal. So, shizzle is standard input. So now, I'm just going to run we again. And it says, what is your name? Now it's giving me a chance to type. And I type my name. So now, of course, it, my name has been assigned to whatever they type in the standard input. Now, let me just explain a variable. is a little slot in memory for a line of text or a number or anything like that. So dollar sign chisel is going to be assigned to a line of standard input. So now, unfortunately, when it's collecting shizzle and I hit enter, shizzle equals what I typed in and then backslash n. So right now, if we just do print space quote dollar sign shizzle quote semicolon with no backslash n, it'll still print out a new line after my name. Because when you do this standard input thing, it also reads the new line. So basically, it thinks that my name is Alex backslash N. So how do we fix this? We want to type on the next line after shizzle equals dot in. We want to type chomp space dollar sign shizzle. So now... That has gotten rid of any new lines at the end of my name. So now, it says, what is your name? I'll type Alex. And then it says, uh, you know what? I'll just make it say, hello. Okay. And, you know, I'll just drag it in to humor all of you. What is your name? I'll say Alex. It'll say, hello, Alex. Because shizzle has been assigned to Alex, which I typed in. So now we have to put backslash n at the end of that. Now I'll drag this back in. What is your name? I'll type Alex. Say, hello, Alex. So that's just cool so in this simple vi lesson i have taught you the first line you need in a file how to print how to read something i type in into a variable how to get rid of the extra backslash n at the end of that variable backslash n is new line by the way and how to print back out a variable just to print a variable in quotes you just do dollar sign variable like dollar sign shizzle. So if you say dollar sign shizzle equals standard input on one line, now shizzle, dollar sign shizzle is going to be out, no matter what. So, um, thanks for watching. Well, soon to be another Perl lesson. Uh, so, uh, keep on watching Mac Yeah, goodbye.